Hi guys, it's Andy from Andy Wilcox Electrical. Today I'm going to show you how to change a double socket. And the tools you need for this job are a new double socket, a medium sized terminal screwdriver, and a socket tester. So let's get on with it. So the first thing I need to check is that I kill the power going to the socket. And for that, I'm going to use my socket tester. I'm going to plug it in, get it to beep, and then I'm going to go and turn the right fuse off at the fuse board. Cool, let's go and turn it off. So we find the fuse board. Now we've got to turn off the fuse that we think is feeding those sockets. So we jump around the lid and have a look along here. The ones that says downstairs sockets. There we go. I can still hear the buzzer. So if I turn that off, has the buzzer stopped? Yes, it has. Brilliant. So I think I found the right one. I'm just going to take one extra precaution, which is I'm just going to put a piece of tape over the fuse, just in case some friendly person, or a pillock I like to call them, comes to turn the fuse back on as you're working on it. Of course, everybody in the house should know that you're working on the fuses anyway, so this isn't likely to happen, but it's just one little extra thing, just to stop people accidentally turning it back up. There we go, that one's off. That fuse was off. Let's go and check and get that job done. So I've isolated the right fuse, it stopped beeping, but one thing I like to do is I'll go and check this on another socket that I know is still alive, just to check that this somehow has stopped working. It would be a terrible thing for that to happen. So go and check this on another socket to make sure it still beeps, and then we'll plug it back in, and this one is definitely dead. So let's get this socket off. So take them out evenly, as you might bend the screw hole inside. So that's those two out. Now the socket should come away from the wall quite easily. Just be careful if you've painted a, around the side that it's not going to pull all the paint away. Take this out. And this is the old sort of wiring, so um, old school colours if you like. So we've got red, which is the live. We've got the blacks, which are neutrals. And we've got the green and yellow, which is earth. In some properties, say in your property maybe, it may be brown and blue. So brown is the live and blue is the neutral. But in this old school socket, it is red is live and black is neutral. So let's get it off. There we go, don't need that anymore, that one's gone. Now we've got, we've got our lives. I'm gonna just straighten them back out again because I like to be neat and make sure they go in nice again. So I like these to be nice and straight. I'm gonna straighten this back out, make sure we've got enough earth there. And let's put the other one on. So a little tip for you, when you get the brand new socket, in the back of it will be some, some little screws and they're usually about sort of an inch and a quarter long. And sometimes the original electrician that did the job would have put the box a little bit too far in and has had to use a longer screw. So the screws you take out of that original socket, make sure you keep them because we'll probably reuse them again if the other ones aren't long enough. Let's get this one on the wall. So with the new socket, um, on the back of all sockets they always tell you which terminal is which. This one here is live, this one is neutral and these two here are earth. And I've opened them up to allow the cables to go in. So let's whack it on the wall. So let's do live first, so they go in there. And I want to make sure there's no copper being seen when I put the cables in. And I'm going to do them up lovely and tight. Beautiful. Neutral's next. That's on the next terminal down. Let's get them in there. I'm glad I straightened these cables out. I don't want any copper to be showing. That one's in. Do that lovely one up, nice and tight. Lovely, and then finally the earth, let's get that one in there. Make sure they're fully in the pair of them. And we do that one nice and tight too. And I just wanna check, make sure they're properly in there individually. They're not gonna, not gonna come out when I push the socket back. Lovely, lovely. And now I'm just gonna shape those cables back in as I push the socket back in like this to make sure they go in there nicely. I don't want any of them to go behind the screw terminals, otherwise my screw might nick it when I put it back in. Like that, beautiful. And I am gonna use the older screws because I can see one of them's longer than the other one, um, meaning the box isn't quite square. So we'll use those old ones, they'll be fine. And I'm not gonna do the screws up one by one because it sort of bends the screw terminals out of shape. So I'll start that one off a little bit and then I'll start the other one and then I'll do them up evenly side by side. Look at this, beautiful. Beautiful, so that's on the wall now. I'm gonna put my tester back in and I'm gonna go and turn the fuse back on. 
So back to the board. Let's take my magic super tape off. There we go, don't pull the stickers off. Put that fuse back on. Let's go check the socket. So I hope that video has helped you and you've managed to get that job done okay. But listen, I don't want you to end up like this fellow here, electrocuting yourself because electrics can be really dangerous and really harmful. So if you're not confident with what I've just shown you or you need any help on anything electrical at all, just give me a call on the number which is here, which is 01789 228 021 or go to the website where you can request an appointment and I can come around and I can help you and give you a quotation on the work that you need. I hope the video's helped you and I hope to see you soon. Bye for now.